start. So as you know, I'm going to put an MUX diff in the back of my D-Max, or D-Max Patrol, whatever you're going to call it. So reasoning for that is handbrake and ABS sensors so I can run a, my actual speedo will work then. So what I've got, that's an MUX diff, pick that up from a wreckers. Cost me 800 bucks as you see it with everything on it, looks pretty good. And that's a patrol diff. So I'm going to cut all their mounts off, strip it back to a bare axle pretty much and then cut these mounts off and put them onto that diff so I can bolt it into my car. Also, once I've done that, I'll need to run new custom tail shaft to suit from the Isuzu transfer case to that diff. But it's also because my chassis is a bit longer, so it's custom length. And then custom handrake cables for it to fit. And ABS sensors will just plug straight into the plug that runs on the harness that runs to the back of the car. So I'm pretty much just going to start by whatever I can unbolt, just unbolt it and get it off. And I'll be left with all the little brackets like that, we coil, old coil mount, old trailing arm mount, shock mounts, everything. Pretty much just going to cut them all off, just so it looks like a diff pumpkin and two axles. So all the bolt-ons are off, it's just all the welded on brackets left. So now it's pretty much just grinder time and just cut everything off. So all our mounts are cut off. Now it's time just to grind up where I've cut, make it all nice and neat. And it is night time outside and I'm sweating from that. Look at that. It's humid as here. nothing left on this axle now. So what I'm going to do first is do a bit of bracing. So I've got this 7550, well, I think it's 4 mil or HS. I'm actually going to, this is the bottom, so a bit of RHS bracing across there on the bottoms. And then just strengthen up a bit, just hopefully I don't bend it.
cut most of the patrol mounts off. This is the patrol diff. There's only the coil mount and sway bar mount to go. And that's the MUX diff. So bracing's on, upper control arm. Mounts are on with a bit of bracing in there. Little hole for the breather. I've got shock mounts. They're going on. This will go under here. So marked it out there. They'll get welded on there to where the bracing is. And lower control arm mount that will go on so lower control arm mounts are on it's uppers bit of bracing pretty much what you've seen before shock mounts so that'll be it for about now I've got the coil mounts to go and pan hard mount, and that's about it. But that's next time I get a chance to work on it. So, leave you with that for now. I'm gonna work on it again. I'll video it too.